Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's do some addition and subtraction of complex numbers in a geometric sense, and that'll help, that will help us understand what complex numbers are. So here we're going to add 2 plus 3i to 3 minus i, and here we're going to subtract 3 minus i from 2 plus 3i. I've already represented the location on the real and imaginary plane, the values of 2 plus 3i and 3 minus i on both of these graphs. Now if we represent these by vectors, because adding complex numbers is very similar to adding vectors. So we're going to draw a line to this point right here from the origin. This line is going to represent the complex number 2 plus 3i. This vector has an x component or a real component of 2 units and an imaginary component of 3 units. Likewise here we can draw a vector and notice that we have a real component of 3 units and an imaginary component of 1 unit in the negative direction. So when we add these together it's almost like adding vectors together. We can take this vector and slide it over there like this and notice that if we add these together the sum should equal this right here which is basically 5 units in the x direction and 2 units in the imaginary or in the real direction and 2 units in the imaginary direction. So when we add this we get the following. We get 2 plus 3 which is 5, that's the real part, and 3i minus i, that's plus 2i, which is the imaginary part. Now notice this should be the solution. So we get 5 plus 2i, that's the sum of these two. And you can see that that would be the exact same thing that you get if you add these two vectorially. We add the real component of the first number plus the real component of the second number. 2 plus 3 gives us 5. So, this, so the solution, if you want to think of it, could be this would be the sum of those two. We have 5 units in the real direction and 2 units in the imaginary direction by adding a 3i plus a minus i together. Now what happens when we subtract the two? Again, we can represent that vectorially. Here we have our first vector that has a real part equal to two units and an imaginary part equal to three units. And here's our second vector, which is a real part of three units and an imaginary part of minus one unit. Now when we subtract, that's like adding the negative of a vector. So when we now draw the vector in this direction, like that, so now this is like taking this number and subtracting this number from it, and we should get a resultant that looks like this. So this should be our resultant of the subtraction. Let's see if we get the same result when we do it numerically. So this becomes 2 minus 3, which is minus 1 for the real part, and 3 minus a minus 1, which is plus 4i for the imaginary part. And you can see that sure enough we have a minus 1 in the real direction and a plus 4 in the imaginary direction. So you can see that visually or geometrically adding complex numbers is a lot like adding vectors with real components and imaginary components. And that's how it's done.